So you see, this is the process, the nature of a wave. There is not such a thing in nature as half a wave. A wave, that is to say, which has only a crest and no trough. To get a wave, you have to have a crest and a trough at the very least. So the up and the down go together. Likewise, therefore, the black and the white. So what we call existence is being non-being. So therefore, to be or not to be is not the question. To be and not to be are inseparable companions. So between all these explicit differences, like the top and the bottom, the up and the down, the front and the back, the light and the dark, explicit differences have behind them an implicit unity. That is to say, they are always found together. There is, as it were, a conspiracy under the surface to look as different as possible and yet to be one. It takes one to produce difference. Because, you see, you don't know what you mean by difference unless you know what you mean by unity. You don't know what you mean by is unless you know what you mean by isn't. You know, uh, there is a match booklet in this hand and there isn't one in this hand. Abstract from that and you get the idea of being and non-being. But they go together. Now, the whole joke that's been played on you, by you, of course, is that they don't go together. That, in other words, black might win. That seems very persuasive. After all, when one looks at existence, you realize it's quite an effort. A lot of energy going on. Wouldn't it have been so much easier for there not to have been anything at all? Once you get that idea, existence becomes odd. And so also when you think about death, what would it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? That thought always makes us intellectually dizzy. And it makes you think about birth, the funny event of waking up after never having gone to sleep. You see, this is all part of it that the black side has to be real genuine black so that the white side can be real genuine white. And it must always seem as if whenever black turns up, that's going to be the end. And this is the conspiracy. So when you've got the game, uh-oh, black might win, you have to play the next game, which is, uh-oh, white must win. So, we start it all out, the battle between the sides. And from this battle come all the complexities of human culture, just out of black and white. But we are all this buzzing little on-off, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Every neuron is either firing or not firing, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And out of this multiplicity of yes and no, Look at this thing. But it all depends on this little joke that we forget somehow that yes and no go together. So it's in looking for that strange balance that we find a clue to what it's all about. The question is simply, fundamentally, do you have the nerve to follow that through? Can you look black, night, death in the face and say, well, I really do know you're the other side of white. You come on pretty fierce. But that's your nature. 
and that anxiety which constantly asks the question to be or not to be and therefore trembles between them will in the end turn into laughter the same trembling but it knows that to be and not to be are inseparable twins <laughs>